Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Nace. I have really enjoyed making these devotional videos. I hope they've been a blessing to you and your family in these challenging times. Speaking of your family, make sure everyone is in the room with you right now because we're going to start off our time together with a song. This is a song I am pretty certain most of you, even the grown-ups, know how to sing. We'll sing it through twice. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm. But the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand went splat. Let's sing it again. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm. But the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand went splat. That is such a fun song to sing. I hope you were able to sing along with me. You know, the words from that song actually come from the Bible. I'm using my Shine On Bible today, and it's found on page 203. If you're using a regular Bible, this is Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. Jesus said, Everyone who hears me and follows my teachings is like a wise builder who built a house on a foundation of rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds began to blow against the house. The house did not fall because it had been built on a foundation of solid rock. But everyone who hears me and does not follow my words is like a foolish builder who built a house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds began to blow against the house, and it fell, and great was its fall. Jesus is telling us that if we follow his teachings, we are like a wise builder who built on a solid rock foundation. But if we don't listen to Jesus' teachings, then we are like the foolish man who built his house on sand. Hmm. What kinds of things did Jesus teach us? Well, Jesus taught us to be humble, to show mercy, to take time to rest. Jesus taught us to give to the poor and heal the sick. Jesus taught us to give food to those who are hungry. Jesus also taught us that we should love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we should also love our neighbors. I wonder, who are our neighbors? Was Jesus just telling us to love the people who live next door or the people who live across the street? No, Jesus was telling us to love everyone. That is a pretty tall ask, isn't it? Jesus wants us to love everyone. 
Now, certainly Jesus doesn't mean for us to love the people who are mean or the people who say bad things to us or uh, the people who make fun of us, right? Jesus wouldn't want us to love those people, would he? Yes, yes, he would. And he does. Jesus wants us to love everyone, even the ones who are more difficult to love. Here is your family activity for today. There are actually two of them. So the first activity is this. Pause the video and talk to your family about Jesus's teachings. What other things do you know that Jesus taught us? Also, take some time to talk with your family about loving your neighbor and what that means to you and what that means to each member of your family. So take some time now to pause the video and talk about these things. Now that you're back, I'll tell you about this second family activity. The second family activity is to create a prayer jar. One of the ways that we can love our neighbor is to pray for our neighbors. So here you will see I have a jar. This is one that my daughter and I kind of made together. And so we decorated it, put some ribbon around the top, put some um, tissue paper on it with just some regular glue. I think we might've watered down the glue a little bit to put the tissue paper on here. And then we filled the jar with wooden sticks. You can use popsicle sticks. These are tongue depressor sticks. You can use anything uh, flat that you can write on with a marker. So you take these sticks and you write down on each one the name of someone you want to pray for. So here we have uh, people who are homeless. Is this one. People who are sick. Daddy. People who are poor. Grandma. And so on. My daughter also has the names of some of her friends in here and other family members in here. And so for your jars, you take your sticks and write down on all of them names of people that you can pray for. Each night before you go to bed, take out a few of those sticks and pray for those people. Thank God for those people and ask God to bless those people in the ways that they need to be blessed. We don't always know what someone might need, but God always knows what they need. I pray that your time with your family today has been valuable. I pray that you were able to have a great conversation with your family about who our neighbors are and about what kinds of things Jesus has taught us to do. And I hope that you'll take some time and make your own family prayer jar. Let's have a prayer together before we go. Gracious and loving God, there are so many people in our world. We know that you want us to treat each one as our neighbor. Please help us to be kind, to be generous, to be thoughtful, and to be ever mindful of all the people around us and how we can help care for them. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, friends. Take care.